tuning in everybody I am the dude without fear and I am on a road trip to good old North Carolina and I am buying a very small collection uh, it's about two long boxes and four slabs from CGC and uh, it's I couldn't I couldn't sleep very well and uh, I woke up super early and couldn't go back to sleep and I do what I always do when that happens and uh, that was look at comic books on my mind and uh, I saw that comic books had been listed like eight hours ago and I was like oh man maybe uh, maybe the maybe nobody's reached out to him yet uh, and he had some really good stuff had a lot of like really had some older Hulk early modern Hulk stuff and you know I don't know if there's any like big keys or anything in here there's a couple a couple of slab the slabs are keys uh, but there's nothing like huge that I'm aware of um, but you know this guy just wanted to sell his collection uh, to buy some stuff for his farm and uh, very good price. He priced it to move it. Uh, it's such a good deal that I am willing to drive the four hours there, well, well, three and a half hours there, three and a half hours back for, you know, about a seven hour round trip. And, you know, I, normally I don't really like to do this anymore unless I am buying a lot of comic books, like a, at least a thousand comic books taking the leap to go ahead and do it uh, it's, a, it's a very good price not very expensive uh, I, I think it's definitely going to be worth my time because I know I can easily make money on this stuff uh, and that's very important when you're you know trying to run a business and you know I'm able to make this seven hour round trip today because as of a week ago today uh, Without Fear Comics is now my full-time job, and uh, it's my only employment. I quit my job of 15 years to run this business because this is what I feel led to do, uh, and now felt like it was the right time to do it, and it is... Uh, I wasn't able to put in the time that I feel this thing needs to be able to grow. Uh, and now, I am. So, uh, let's head to North Carolina and take a look at this collection. And let's see what we get. North Carolina.
never look fatter than you are. Yeah, I look so fat. Alright, so I got the books. Uh, actually, he had some three more graded books uh, that I wound up buying from him as well. Uh, some pretty cool stuff. Uh, but he told me about this uh, little antique mall, Fantastic Finds, uh, just five minutes up the road from where I met him. Uh, he said they got a couple comic book vendors in here, so I'm going to check them out, see what they got, see if I can't make this trip uh, a little more worth my while. So let's, let's see what they got.
crap, man. This place is freaking huge. So look, so look at this, hold on. So I thought it was just this building, right? No, there's five of these buildings. It was freaking huge, man. And I went through every comic book in the place. Uh, I got 59 hand-picked dollar bin books that uh, they're not all dollar bin books. Uh, so very happy with uh, the stop turned out to be worth my time. Uh, so now let's uh, get back on the road for three and a half hours and get home. Let's go. So I made it back from North Carolina safe and sound uh, and I got some pretty good stuff. Uh, it's been a couple days since my trip. I've been going through the collection uh, ever since and uh, trying to pick out you know what to show you guys and that's always difficult in these collection buys because you know like if I got a bunch of like really big keys then you know that's obviously what I would show you uh, but there's no really big keys in this collection and other than these graded books which I'll show you all of those in a second but like you know picking what to show you is difficult so what I did is because I can't just show you like 400 comic books um, so what I did was just went through and picked like the you know the cool cool covers and stuff and the books that i think are cool and books that you don't see a lot in these haul videos uh and i'm going to show you a lot of books i'm going to try to do it real quick because uh, this video is already really long uh and but i've basically got two hauls to show you i've got the collection haul and then i'm going to also show you some stuff that i got from the antique mall so you get two hauls in one so let's let's get into these books here's the raw books from that collection in north carolina all right first up we got some what ifs we got what if rick jones had become the hulk from what if volume one it's number 12 and then uh, what if volume two we got number nine what if the x-men died on their first mission and number 10 what if the Punisher's family hadn't been killed? Now, uh, again, I, I had way more what ifs than this. I'm just showing you the ones that I thought would be most interesting to see. Uh, something you probably don't see on these uh, haul videos frequently. Uh, there were a couple of issues of Speed Racer 3D number one in there. This one came with the 3D glasses. The other one did not. So. Uh, hopefully whoever buys that other one out of the dollar bin one day will uh, you know have some 3d glasses to go with it uh, very happy to see a Ghost Rider volume 2 number one uh, first appearance of uh, Danny Ketch I believe the second Ghost Rider if I'm not mistaken had a few Ghost Rider books in there Ghost Rider number two Ghost Rider 13. Again, these were the, the ones that I thought were worth showing off. Uh, Robocop number one. I really enjoy that series. Uh, I thought this was interesting. It's a classics illustrated, but it's Edgar Allan Poe, The Raven. Uh, the interior looks like that too. It's a very <laughs> weird comic book. Uh, but like I said, not something you see often. And that's what appeals about haul videos to me is seeing stuff you wouldn't normally see. Uh, this is one of the main reasons that I bought this collection. Had a great, there's a, a very long run of the Hulk in here. Uh, and so I obviously can't show you every one that's in here. Uh, but I'll show you some that I think are really dope. Uh, this is Incredible Hulk number 336 uh, versus X-Factor. 
and then here's 337 next part of that story uh, Marvel just printed the facsimile of this 347 I'm not really sure the significance of this it might be the first Joe fix it uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure we got Incredible Hulk number 359 with Joe fix it uh, fighting the abomination Wolverine and the thing that's pretty dope stuff uh, everybody always loves this cover to Incredible Hulk number 390 Hulk with a giant machine gun and then uh, a signed Hulk 377 uh, autographed by Bob McLeod who did the uh, inks on that car that issue uh, I have almost the entire run of the death of Superman in here uh, to include two of the first appearance of Doomsday, which is pretty dope. Uh, so here's part two. And Superman 74. Adventures 497. Action 684. I think I'm missing another adventure uh, to have the whole story. But there were two issue 75 still in the poly bags. Uh, and then, of course, that's what it looks like underneath the poly bag. I uh, had a lot of Marvel Comics presents. And I mean a lot of them. Uh, and these are just the covers that I thought were the coolest. Issue 2, really rad cover. Issue 47, have almost all of uh, the Weapon X run in here. Number 73, two copies of 74. Number 75, and number 76. Cool Barry Windsor Smith covers. This is a really cool uh, Sam Keith cover to Marvel Comics Presents number 92. Uh, and then this is a really cool cover for issue 100. Uh, and uh, on Marvel Comics Presents, they all have something on the back, either a second cover or more of the front. And this one, it's just got Ghost Rider crushing Wolverine. You can see the blood splatter there where the 100 just crushed him. Pretty cool, cool Sam Keith stuff. Uh, and then I had quite a bit of Wolverine stuff in there too. Uh, the sequel to Weapon X, the Shiva scenario, a really cool cover. Number 49, and of course the cool 50 with the the claw through the cover uh, and then uh, I thought these were uh, like reprints uh, collected stories of Marvel Comics present stuff but it's not it's like this one actually says Wolverine annual number two uh, but it's uh, Wolverine bloodlust and it's a square bound uh, standalone story and uh, this one does not say annual number one on it. Uh, it's Wolverine Reign of Terror. And uh, it's by Peter David and Andy Huber. Uh, pretty cool. And then I got the first uh, printing of the graphic novel collection of Wolverine Volume 1 by Chris Claremont and Frank Miller. This section is for my... 90s kids out there just some uh cool comics from the 90s uh jurassic park number one beavis and butthead number three then i had some early spawn uh issue six issue seven 
issue 10. And then we had Batman and Spawn War Devil. Batman Judge Dredd, Judgment on Gotham. And we had some image stuff. We have the Max number one and Youngblood number two. First appearance of Prophet and Shadowhawk, I think. But definitely the first appearance of Prophet. Had uh, one loan issue of Wizard in there, Wizard number six, with the cool Sam Keith cover. And then what is the 90s without your holographic covers? It's Fantastic Four 30, 375, Iron Man 290. Cool chrome stuff, foil stuff. Doctor Strange 50, one of the coolest covers to Doctor Strange. Uh, more Incredible Hulk 393, love that cover. And then 400, super beautiful, shiny cover. Uh, Silver Surfer Volume 3, number 50. And then Silver Surfer, volume three, number 75. And then possibly the coolest cover of all of the 2099 books, you got Doom 2099, number one. Punisher 2099, number one. And I can't show Punisher 2099, number one without showing number two if I have it because that is my favorite cover in the Punisher 2099 series. Just a really amazing cover. Uh, and then since we're on 2099 stuff, why not show the first appearance of Hulk 2099 in 2099 Unlimited number one. X-Men number one, cover A, cover B, Cover C, cover D, and my personal favorite, cover E. And then just, let's keep going for a second here. Issue two, appreciate this Jim Lee X-Men art. Look at that, man, that's just amazing. And then, Issue 6 with Psylocke and Sabretooth. That is amazing stuff. It just looking over it makes me want to reread it. And then let's keep this mutant train going. We got X-Force number one. Two copies of X-Force number two, the second appearance of Deadpool. X-Force number three. And X-Force number four, which you, of course, read that way. It goes with Spider-Man 16. Uh, and I just really love those Rob Liefeld covers to early X-Force book. Like the first, first 25 issues of X-Force are just really dope. And then this is nothing special at all. I've got like probably 80 of these in my in my inventory, X Factor 71. But I have never seen this one before, I don't think. And that's the gold second printing of this book. And I didn't even know that that existed. So I thought that was pretty cool. Wanted to show that off. Uh, the Saga of the Original Human Torch, four issue mini series. Got all four issues of it. I love getting a complete mini series. Then we got Punisher War Journal number 50. Cool die cut cover. Uh, one of my personal favorites, Punisher War Zone number one. Uh, and then I thought this was rad. 
classic Punisher, another square bound book, reprints uh, old Punisher black and white stories from Marvel magazines before Punisher even had his own magazine. So that's really cool. I kind of want to keep that. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Marvel Superheroes number 100. This is uh, Marvel Superheroes reprinted uh, early Incredible Hulk comics. Uh, I believe that is issue uh, 151. And then this is something you don't see often. Aliens comics from Dark Horse. Uh, look how amazing these covers are. This is Aliens Earth War. That was issue one. This is issue two. I don't have issue four, but here's issue three. Just really cool covers. And I wanted to show, these are all the Aliens books in here. Well, there's a, a few that I didn't show, but this is most of the Aliens books in here. One, you don't see them a lot. And two, they're just really cool looking. That's Alien Sacrifice. It's a square bound. Uh, here's a Kelly Jones uh, Aliens cover. Aliens Hive. Didn't even know Kelly Jones ever worked on Aliens, but that's pretty rad. He did the interior art on that too. Uh, Aliens Genocide, number one. Crazy sick cover. Genocide number two. And genocide number four. Really wish that I had uh, all of those. So let's look at these graded books. I've got them listed. Uh, they're all, they've all got the bags with them too, which I really like. But I took them out of the bags because they present better on video. Uh, but I'm showing them in order of what I think is cool. So. Uh, first up, Forgotten Realms, number one, in a uh, 9.6, and uh, he had like the next five issues of that series as well, uh, and a lot, of, a lot of these books he had uh, runs of, and he just slabbed like the number ones, basically, or the, the key books. Uh, this is Death, the High Cost of Living, number one, from the Sandman universe in a 9.8. Pretty cool. And it's a cool looking book. And uh, it's a three issue mini series. He's got issues two. I have, have issues two and three as well. Uh, first issue of Warlock and the Infinity Watch in a 9.4 pretty cool i don't care about adam warlock whatsoever but that's a really rad cover and it presents really well uh beavis and butthead number one and an 8.5 pretty cool back of it's cool too Uh, so he had, uh, like I said, a huge run of Marvel Comics Presents. First one I showed you was issue two. He also had issue one. Uh, it's graded in a 9.4. Uh, I really like this cover. It's a cool cover. Uh, I like it best, though, for the back because Man-Thing looks really cool. And you got Shang-Chi and Silver Surfer back there. Uh, just a, This is a great book to have graded because it just presents really well and this is the big boy of the collection uh, it's a very hot book right now Punisher War Journal number six that's uh, the first time the Punisher meets Wolverine and uh, it's in a 9.8 that's what you want very cool book very good story it's a two-part story uh, he had the second part as well Punisher War Journal number seven the 9.6 uh, this one, I believe, is their first, that was when they actually fight. Um, and yeah, so not as, not worth as much as number six, but still pretty cool. And my personal favorite slab of the collection, it's not worth a whole lot. It's probably like a $40, $50 slab. Uh, but it's the Miles, Marvel Milestone Edition of Amazing Fantasy 15. And it's in a 9.2 and it just looks beautiful like the miles the marvel milestone silver 
outline uh, with the Amazing Fantasy 15 cover, first appearance of Spider-Man. Uh, it's one. It's a very early reprint of that, so I don't know how many times this book has been reprinted before this, uh, but not a lot. But it's definitely, definitely a very beautiful book, and I would be super pleased to have that. So there's the graded books. Now let's go back and look at some of the books that I got at that antique mall. So we got Justice League number 164, late Bronze Age book. Superman and Big Barda in Action Comics number 592 by John Byrne. Got a couple issues of Spider-Man number 22, Revenge of the Sinister Six part five. Eric Larson cover, I believe, yep. And second printing of Spider-Man number 46. I got, you saw me in the, earlier in the video flipping through those dollar bins through the Batman stuff. I got some 80s Batman, Batman 439, year 3 part 4. I got some 90s Batman. Love that Graham Nolan cover. Can't pass up a uh, Poison Ivy year one. I got some mid 2000s Batman. And some Batman from 2010s. And then I've got some animated Batman as well can't pass up batman adventures books for a buck got some more 90s x-men executioner song part one uncanny x-men 294 x-men number 38 and again i got more than this stuff that i'm showing you i'm just showing you a little bit of what i got some george perez wonder woman number 11 Really cool cover, number 48. Some Fantastic Four, number 370. 366. Uh, this will probably be staying in the PC because I never run into Fantastic Four 2099. So I, of course, had to get that since it was in good shape. got some more Incredible Hulk while I was there late uh, late Peter David run almost at the very end of the run uh, this is for the PC Justice League 37 uh, Darwin Cook variant uh, I want to get all these Darian Darwin Cook variants uh, and frame them because uh, I love Darwin Cook's art very animated and uh, just looks really dope in a frame if I ever have a physical comic book store those will probably be on the wall uh, I got a few issues of Thor while I was there one lone issue of Wolverine some Ghost Rider Ghost Rider number 22. But most importantly, and my best find while I was there, is I got Ghost Rider 2099, which, like Fantastic Four 2099, I never see, uh, especially this late in the game. Uh, this is issue 21, but they also had issue 22. issue 24 and the final issue number 25 and that sucker is ridiculously hard to find 
there are currently none on eBay, none sold on eBay. And there was one sold on Mercari back in January, but there are no more listed on Mercari. This puppy is freaking rare. It is very hard to come by, very hard to find book. And I picked it up for a dollar. That's amazing. And it's in pretty good shape. I've got it graded at a very fine. And according to price guides, uh, that should book for around 30 bucks. So I think that was my best find of the whole trip. And there is all of the hauls. That's all the comics that I got on my trip to North Carolina. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making this video. This was a really fun video to make. Uh, it was honestly just a fun trip, you know? And like the fact that this is my job now to buy and document buying comic books, pretty rad job, right? Uh, so, uh, now I just got to make money doing it and then I'll be set. Right. Uh, so I really appreciate everybody for watching this video. Thank you very much. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to hit that subscription button because i am got more content on the way. Uh, give me that thumbs up if you saw anything in this video that you liked. And, uh, I always enjoy reading and responding to your comments. So leave me a comment down in the comment section below and remember collect without fear be excellent to each other and take it easy